Hello, my friends. Welcome to the metal shop. Now this one, I promise, will, will be a short, a short video. I promised one on making the uh, Rotunda oil filter. And it's really, it's not, you don't really need a how-to. Picked up one of these Rotunda stickers, reproduction stickers. The internet, you can also get them in the red. They, Ford made the red filters and they also made the gold, like back in the 60s. I like the Royal Purple filters. So really what I'm gonna do is, while I'm prepping this for paint, I'm gonna just talk a little bit, going kind of like a little mini rant. And I may be cleaning off some adhesive too, which kind of stinks. If you are a creator on YouTube, have a channel, has some content on it, then you're gonna know what I'm talking about here. And it's the trolls. The, you know, they are, they are always, always, always without fail. They are zero content. And I'm gonna say it, they're losers. They are losers. They are zero content losers. You go, you click on their little bio or whatever and they've got you know, two, three, four, five subscribers, which you know is their mama and their nana and their whatever, their uncle and maybe their kids or something. I, it's hard to believe these people are parents, but of course, uh, we know that uh, they are. And so recently, I, and I get plenty of plenty of trolls on my channel. It's not it's not terrible. Most most of the most of the comments are very constructive. I will say, they're very they're very positive. Um, and, but the handful of trolls say, you know, the 5% or whatever, I have a little fun with them, you know? I don't, I don't let any of it slide. You'll get a comment from me, and if it's real, if you're a real, you know, you're a real a-hole of a troll, you know, you're a real pathetic loser, then I just delete your comment. You know, you're not, you're not getting any kind of, you're not getting airtime, you're not getting any kind of anything on my channel. This is just ginger ale that I'm spilling all over myself. You know, yeah, you're not getting, you get nothing on my channel. So, recently, you know, I'm not going to say the, the name of this channel, but you guys will probably be able to figure it out. There's a couple of brothers, and they've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of subscribers. And they recently built, like, a barn, like a metal barn you know like you buy a kit this is just brake clean i'm using to get the adhesive and it's not really working that great um and they built a barn and they built it on the side of a it was like an embankment really and they just dumped a bunch of dirt in there and compacted a little bit and threw this barn in there and i saw it and i was just like well you know and i get it they're doing this stuff for content you know, maybe, you know, cutting corners or whatever, but I'm like, man, this barn is going to, this is going to fall right, <laughs> it's going to fall right down that hill. And, but I, you know, like I said, you don't have anything nice to say. Don't say anything at all. I kept my opinions to myself about that. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people commented that, you know, you better, you've got to do something. You've got to put in some piers. you got to put in a retaining wall. You better do something. That barn is going to go sliding right down that hill. Um, anyway, so they do that. And I should say this, now normally, I've been a subscriber to this channel since they didn't have very many subscribers at all. Um, been a fan of this, you know, these guys' work. And anyway, so it comes time to do the uh, inside of the barn. And these guys, and like I said, this isn't going to be hard to figure it out. And I'm not calling these guys out at all. These guys are, love their channel, love the stuff they do. They're, uh, they buy a sawmill. You know, one of those, it's like a trailer... You drag it, you know, cut wood, whatever, and they're going to finish the inside of this barn with wood that they cut themselves. So they proceed to do just that. You know, cool. But they, uh, what they do is they cut the wood. I'd say the barn is about 20 feet in length. And they cut this wood to 10 feet, and they've got one joint, you know, one joint with the wood running right down the center of the barn. At least throughout the roof, they had, you know, windows and 
everything else that necessitated them having some more joints. And a couple people commented, why not? Why did you not stagger the joints? It wouldn't have really been, it's not that difficult to stagger the joints. And I, so I didn't even really, mine wasn't the, the sparking comment, you know. I just said, I, I agreed with it. I said, yeah. I said, I completely agree with this. I said, you know, I'm no carpenter, but, you know, I know I've stagged, you know, I've done projects like this. I've staggered the joints. You know, it's, if for nothing else, it, it just looks way better, but it's also, um, it's a lot more st structural. I'm telling you, this is really, this adhesive is really, this is really irritating. I don't remember the last one. I think the last one, if I remember correctly, that sticker just came right off. No muss, no fuss. But this one is really hanging on for dear life. And it's really irritating me. Anyway, all I do is comment like, yeah, I mean, would have taken nothing to stagger those joints just to, you know, do it properly. That was the extent of my comment. And I, like I said, I'm a creator. I try and if I say something... And it may, you know, it's not always going to be roses, you know, no better roses, whatever, hearts and flowers, but I will be constructive. It's never going to be, oh, you guys are idiots. You don't know what you're doing. No, it's like you guys really, you know, I agree. You should have taken the time to stagger those joints. It's structural and, you know, not to mention the fact that the wood they're using, you know, they cut the trees down and they milled it, soaking wet, wet, heavy. I mean, they're just very... Very unusual for this channel to be making mistake after mistake after mistake. But all I commented was, yeah, you should have staggered those joints. And I got, you know, lit up, flamed by all these guys. They're just doing this for content. It's not a million dollar house. It's not. And I'm like, I don't care if it's an outhouse. You, you do it right. You know, it's like these guys are hanging all this. Honestly, this wood that's way too heavy for this, you know, this barn structure, this prefab metal barn structure. Um, and they, they're not staggering the joints and it's built on a hillside. And Anyway, sorry, I digress. My comment was, yeah, really should have taken this time to stagger the joints. And I'm getting flamed. And it's like, and I know, and I check every one of them. Just like, sure enough, just like on my channel, the people who are complaining are zero content trolls. They're these losers. And guess what? And I heard something else today. This is on a sports talk show, but it was it was pretty apropos. And what, uh, it was Joy Taylor. She was filling in for Colin Coward today on Fox Sports. I give Joy Taylor credit. And normally she's not, <laughs> not always my favorite, but I give Joy Taylor credit. She's like, your, your little internet bubble that you live in, where you're a tough guy, where you can say and do whatever you want, it's not real life. You know? And this was in, brought about because of this kid who uh, allegedly, and I didn't, allegedly put his hands on Chris Paul's family at a basketball game. You know, his mother and his wife and there, his kids were there. And honestly, I didn't see any, I saw no proof of that. I saw the kid being escorted out. I saw Chris Paul getting all tough guy with him and saying, I'll see you, I'll see you later, I'll see you again. And you know you won't. Shut up. You know. But... The, your internet world, and the problem is people, they think that there's a little internet world that they live in where they say and do whatever they want. It goes to real life. It's not real life. All right? It's... <laughs> and people have this, this comfort zone where they just, they say whatever the heck they want on YouTube comments, for example, or on Twitter or Facebook or whatever your medium is, finally, um, because there's no repercussions from it. And anyway, so everybody who was flaming me for merely saying, yeah, they really should have staggered those joints. It would have been a lot better. You know, it's not a million dollar house, you know. And I said, it's, it's amazing to me that why is it that these, the, the zero content trolls are the ones that are all butthurt. They're the ones that are all defending this shoddy workmanship. Uh, just a little isopropyl alcohol here. I like to used to clean, you know, so that the paint will stick. So there's no, you know, no residue left behind or anything like that. 
but it's always zero content losers. And I'm sorry, just because you have zero content doesn't make you a loser. But if you have zero content and you know, you're out there roasting people in the comments or whatever, yeah, you're a loser. You really are, you need to get a life. Um, but these, you know, I'm getting flamed and it's like, and what I wanna say is, have you ever, I know, and I know the answer to this, have you ever built anything with your own two hands? Have you ever taken pride in something, changed your own oil, you know, built a tree fort, you know, whatever, remodeled room, hung a door, I don't care if it's, you know, whatever, hung a sign, pounded a nail, turned a screw. Have you ever done anything with your own two hands that you're proud of? And I know the answer in most of these cases is no. These guys don't have a clue. They're sitting in, you know, and I know I love the old analogy, I'll go back to your parents' basement, but they are. They're living with mommy and daddy, and they're, they're probably, they're a keyboard warrior. They're probably really good at video games. You know, they probably reached level, you know, 19 on, you know, whatever is popular now. Night Fart. Fortnite. I don't know what, my kids don't even like that game anymore. I don't know, I don't know, honestly, I don't know what any of the games are, but that's what they do. They're sitting around, you know, playing video games or keyboard warrior. And I did another rant like this similarly quite a few years ago about guitar hero, internet guitar heroes. Because you're going to get those two. You know, you post up a video of a guitar cover or whatever. You're playing it wrong. You are you don't know what you're doing. I had I have, a, I have one video for a cover song for Long Way to Love, the song by Britney Fox. And I'm very, very proud of this cover. It's one of my best covers on YouTube, in my opinion. And some guy says... You're a hack. You butchered this song. And it's like, go watch it for yourself. I think I did a great job, you know? And I'm not, believe me, I'm not the type of guy that's like patting myself on the back and tooting my own horn. I just think it came out really well. I was very proud of my work. You're a hack. You butchered this song. And his comment, he de I think he deleted his own comment, this, this guy. This freaking loser. But the point is, no matter what you do, you're going to get... These heroes who, they it's not real life. They don't, like I said, they, they wouldn't do something like this. Have you ever painted anything? You spray paint your BMX. Do you ride a BMX? Do you outside? Do you ever go outside? You got a skateboard? You know, BMX bike? Mountain bike? Anything? You do any, play organized sports? You do anything? I doubt it. You know, these guys are sad. They're just unhappy, you know? And it's truly, you know, I'm an internet keyboard warrior you know i love the meme of the giant fat dude sitting on a computer you know i'm a patriots fan a lot of people know that like i'm gonna call them the cheatriots oh that'll show them you know i'm gonna roast this guy on the internet because i'm tough so you know i and i honestly what i should do is when i when these freaking losers say anything i should just let it go but i just can't you know when i say some some things like, you know, just that, like, but I try to keep it constructive. These guys, you know, the, the guys there who built the barn, I'm like, you know, they, they do, normally they do a really good job. This time they just, I don't know what it is. They're just really, they're really cutting a lot of corners. They're really messing up. And I think, you know, hopefully this, the barn doesn't go rolling down a cliff and hopefully that all that green wood you know, this miles and miles of green <laughs> timber that they screwed to the inside of this barn with no, you know what I'm talking about. When you don't stagger the joints, the, all the joints are in the same place, the stuff, it'll rack. It can move. You know, whereas if you stagger the joints, it's just infinitely stronger. So, did I have a point? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. It's just, I don't know. I try... I try, and I've had, and I said this before in my other videos, before I became a creator on YouTube and so on, I, I, I said a couple things I'm not proud of, and I took the comments down, you know. There's some kids that performed, a, did a performance of a song, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, and I kind of roasted it a little bit, and I'm like, and I thought about it, I'm like, these, they're just kids, and they had the courage to put this video on YouTube for the world to 
watch and critique, and I realize, you know, you're the asshole here. Sorry, my language. Um, but I took the comments down, and ever since I became a creator, and I will say something, and it may not always be positive, but it will be, it will be constructive. It will not, it won't be, it won't be, you know, laced with profanity. There won't be name calling. There won't be, you know, it might be, you know, you really, you know, you should look, maybe think about doing it like this. Um, things of that nature, you know, and I get videos where uh, this is this, doing this taping project reminds me of a video where I was taping up a headstock for a guitar and I got roasted for that. They're like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. I hope you're painting skills are better than your taping skills it's like dude <laughs> i taped up the headstock of a guitar this isn't it's not rocket science did i did i do it wrong <laughs> i guess i'm not aware if uh you know the came out came out great you know and if i told you that i took it to a professional painter to have it done you would know the difference you know and i'll admit hey i'm the first to admit when something Something doesn't come out great, you know, and I'm like, oh, it didn't, that really didn't come out very good. I didn't do a very good job there, and I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm kind of learning as I go, and so are those, the guys with the barn. They're learning as they go, but, you know, this is a, it's a, it's a form. People go to YouTube to learn how to do things, myself included, you know. It's like, you know, I want, this is, it's a resource, and it's just like, just be nice. <laughs> be constructive. The old golden rule, you know? Treat others as you'd want to be treated yourself. And if you don't have anything nice to say, shut your effing pie hole. That's all. Just don't say anything. And I guarantee these guys, these heroes, you know, they think they're going to take this into real life. And it's funny because, you know, you get both sides of the coin. You get the kid at the basketball game who's giving Chris Paul's family a bunch of crap, thinks he's, you know, living in his internet bubble. But then you get Chris Paul, who's, like, threatening the kid, like, I'll see you again. No, you won't. You're not going to see him again. What? You're going you're gonna to go outside and wait for the kid and beat him up? You know, you're just, it's like you're doubling down on the stupidity there, you know. And, and honestly, I, I, you know, maybe I'll get roasted for that, for having an opinion about that, too. But um, I don't think... There's no footage of the kid doing anything other than getting it squirted out of the game. So until I see it, I don't believe it happened. I don't believe that he this this 18-year-old kid or whatever even laid hands on, you know, a couple of women, even though they're related to Chris Paul at this um, basketball game. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. I guess time will tell. Time will, will prove me out if I'm right or if I'm wrong on that deal. And I don't know why I'm taping this so much here. I just, you know, an oil filter that you're, you know, you're never going to, you're not going to see this portion of it at all. But just funny. It's a funny phenomena there. It's like, and I've told people that before that are roasting my videos, especially the guitar playing ones. You suck. You're terrible. I'm like, post up, post up a video. Get some content on your channel for us to criticize your superior guitar playing skills. Because obviously you must be great if you're criticizing other people. And that's the other thing. The big time creators, you know, they're not out here roasting people. They're not critiquing other people's videos. They don't get time for that. You know, the, the people that I follow, and I just, I'll name, you know, like Chris Fix. You know, he's got, I don't know, 7 million followers or whatever, subscribers. It's like, he ain't out here watching videos and roasting people. You know, these great guitar players who are on here, you know, giving you the channels, how to play these songs. They're not, they're not on YouTube in the comments roasting people. It's you, zero content people. Get a life. Get a life for real. All right, let's take this down into the paint booth, throw some gold engine enamel on it. All right, cool. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to paint around this edge here and then I'm going to set it on like a paint cap. I'm going to set this on a paint cap and then paint the rest of it that way. I just need to <laughs> build myself an apparatus here to uh, to paint that with to set it on first. So yeah. Let's do this in real time. 
no time lapse, so if it screws up or it falls, you'll see it along with me. Eh, got some, I can't really, I don't know if you can see them or not, but definitely some, a little bit of sag there in the metallic. Hopefully we're not going to see that um, when we put the uh, sticker on. Eh, anyway, I'm going to give it one more coat and we'll call it good. Cool. All right, my friends. Well, time to close out this video. And thank you for bearing with me. You saw me paint this kind of in real time and yeah let's be honest screwed it up a little bit you're supposed to the direct read the directions on the can that's if you get any spray spray paint any rattle can just read the directions on the can they're 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 different quite a bit of the time and <clears throat> they're not the same you operate under the premise that all oh, it's all the same it's really not and this the engine paint the uh you know the duplicolor high heat engine and enamel whatever it is they want you to do two light coats, then one heavy coat. And ever since I'm a kid, I'm trying to get, you know, the best coverage out of one can. I've, you know, it's just a failing of mine. Sometimes I take, you know, just take your time, read the directions. Anyway, so yeah, screwed it up, but it came out great. A little, you can, you know, what it's, you didn't get runs. What I got was almost sag in the, the metallic. That's a, that's a weird kind of paint where you can't, you can, I don't know if you can see that, you can't feel it, but you can see like a little sag there. It's not going to matter because the label is going to cover, you know, like 90% of this can. Anyway, so let's peel off all of my awesome taping job there. And I am going to continue my rant just a tiny little bit, you know, reference the boys there that uh, built that barn. I actually had a guy arguing with me when I said, yeah, you should have staggered those joints, um, that they couldn't. They couldn't stagger the joints. There's nothing for them to screw to. And I was like, that barn had the studs were two foot on center. The roof joists were two foot on center. Every two feet could have been a joint. And this knucklehead just wanted to argue with me and say, there's nothing. There. They couldn't have done any, any different. And it's simply not true. It's like, have you ever swung a hammer in your life? You know, turned a screwdriver, used a wrench, a socket, done anything? And it was obvious that this guy hadn't. And my point is, people will argue literally anything. They're safe in their little internet bubble. They can say whatever they want. They can just pull stuff right out of their rear end and say, there was nothing for them to screw to. They couldn't have staggered those joints. Yeah, they could. And argue, argue, and argue over your point when you're clearly, you're clueless. You're a moron. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. But on the internet, everyone's an expert because you can just say you are. Everyone's a tough guy and, you know, so be it. And I'm not an expert and I'm not a tough guy. And I guess what I'm trying to say that internet bubble, it's not real, okay? It's not real life. You, if whatever you type on the internet, whatever you type on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, would you have the courage to say that to the person's face? And if you don't, then don't type it, right? Would you argue that point to me, to my face? And I'm not talking about physical violence. I'm like, no, you wouldn't call someone. You're a hack. You're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't talk to people that way in real life. And if you won't do it in real life, then don't do it on the internet. Pretty simple. Anyway, here's our sticker. 
And I was going to get cute and put it upside down because I use the, the remote mounted filters, you know, Cobras and stuff. And so it looked like that. But I, in the end, I decided not to. Um, I'm just going to put it on the right way. And it's kind of kind of cool. Let's see if we can get this. See if we can get this without screwing it up. My day so far has not been not been without mistakes and issues. And we're already kind of we're already a little bit we're already a little bit off track with the sticker not being perfectly square. You know, we're going around a cylinder here and we're kind of no, we got we got to yeah, we got to <clears throat> I'm not willing to have uh, his wrinkles. And anyway, yeah, I'm talking, running my mouth, and I got some wrinkles in there you know get some bubbles get them out thanks for bearing with me a little rant there anyway it's an oil filter it looks the part <laughs> the sticker you know <laughs> yeah there there there's the telltale right there if it's not if it you know and there that's ridiculous anyway as all my friends thanks for watching uh, hit me up in the comments. <laughs> Let's keep it, keep it constructive in those comments, please. Um, give me a like, please hit that thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications when I put out a new video because I'm cranking these things out, really trying to stay with the content. And if you watch this whole video in its entirety, I really appreciate you. All right, my friends, take care. This is for the Cobra. I peeled the sticker off and redid it. I would, <laughs> I had to. The perfectionist in me would just wouldn't let it go. So I peeled it off and did it again. I had to share that with you.